G'day, thanks for joining us for Sunday afternoon football. Anthony Hudson here. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better day weather-wise. Well, with me today is Gary Lyon. Thanks, Hutto. Expecting some really special stuff here today. For today's match, we have Port Adelaide and the Suns. look great as the players get set to run through them. It's a big midfield battle today. Whichever team can get on top of the middle of the ground will work out winners today. of both sides make their way to the middle for the coin toss. Gold Coast winning the toss. Here we are at round 17 with just a handful of games remaining until the end of the home and away fixture. For a lot of teams now, it's do or die. No matter how teams have played this season, you always want to finish strong and build some momentum, whether that's momentum into finals or into the pre-season. You want to get some form at the back end of the year. Neither side inside the top eight. They're looking to build some confidence with a win today. Players head to their positions as we prepare for the opening bounce. And away we go, the opening bounce, where it just slaps it down. He wins possession. Lemons was taken high in the tackle. He drives it. Miles gets on the end of this. This will certainly test him from this distance. He likes his chances from here. Marks now and can send it back. Decides to kick. Burn Jones takes the mark. Uncontested. Greenwood steals possession. Couldn't keep it alive. It's out of play. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. This is Power Pepper. He can take off after that handball. Right. Slips high and gives away the free kick. Takes the mark all by himself. Kicks it out of the defensive 50. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. He's got the football now. Marked by both. Rushes with the kick. Lines runs after this one. Cleary elects to kick. Dixon flicks it over. Turned it over. A bit too hard with the push, but it's a free kick. Sexton going for number one. Chalk a goal up the goal post. He celebrates hard after that. They draw first blood. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Umpire ready to resume play. Hammers it. Gets the loose ball. Miles missed an opportunity to mark. Slams it on the boot. Easily takes the mark. Tips it towards half forward. West off with an easy mark. With a driving kick. Greenwood looking to track down the footy. It'll be a ball up on the outer wing. Taps it down. Decides to soccer it. 
Dug out the loose ball. Pomps releases by hand. Murdoch earns a free kick. Murdoch sends one up towards the wing. He takes the mark. Works it across the ground. He flicks it over. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. The ball spills free. Receives the handball and takes off. Puts it on the boot. Rockland spent it before he earned it. Harbrab hacking it out of there. Goes for territory. Finding the loose ball was Erdogan. Marks that ball uncontested. Smooth just bangs away at goal. The kick ends up hitting the post. Gold Coast by seven points. Looking for options now. It's marked by Emmons. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. He sums up the situation and delivers. He's enjoying every second of it out there. He's excited about that one. Gold Coast lead by 13. About to resume play. Thumps it clear. He has the ball. Wines dismisses his opponent with disdain. Intervening brilliantly was right. Smooth on the tap. Thank you. Smooth with a punch. Rosie keeps coming. Scoops up the ball. Picking it up was Murdoch. Joyce clears the congestion. Hartlett wins the marking contest. Got boot to ball. Jonas hangs onto that one. He spears the ball. Takes a strong mark. Goes by foot. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Slick with the hands. Kicks hurriedly. Takes a nice mark. Watts choosing to play on. Fumbles the ball. Finds the loose ball. Clears the congestion. Paul and Smith was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. The Suns are allowing too many marks inside the opposition 450. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Jonas trims off the tackle. At full stride, receives the handball. Burton can't hit the target. Has it now. Ball gets cut off, brings it out of the pack. Westhoff controlling the airwaves on this occasion. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. Going for goal number one. The contest, no match for him. I agree with you there, Hello. 15 metres out. Going for goal number one. The scoreboard starting to worry the power now. Harbour plays it to himself. Puts boot to ball. Thompson brilliantly steps around. Picks up the loose ball. Just gets it onto the boot. Good mark and looks to send it back. The kick will be from a 45 degree angle. One quarter down and three to go. Plenty of football still to be played. The score's Gold Coast 13, Port Adelaide 1. Gold Coast started well. Now it's time for them to do it for four quarters. Here's Gaz to break down the stats. Gold Coast are doing a great job of applying pressure and creating turnovers. It's allowing them plenty. The siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. Back in the middle as the rucks go at it. Witz thumps it clear. Just put it on the boot. Ainsworth couldn't snaffle it. Cleary grabbed it clean. Wines grabbed it clean. Watts uses the body well. Gold Coast haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. 
you can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Dixon will be the recipient of the free. He takes the shot. Ends up turning this ball over. Brody drives a low kick. Picks it up. Ball picked up. Fans off the tackler. Manufactures the handball. Takes possession. Sinks the slipper into it. The mark is taken by Dallas. Spears the ball. Hall marks in a bit of space. Gold Coast can allow the opposition uncontested marks, but they sit up behind the ball so well it forces the opposition to play that style. Hobbs throws the ball away. Move it on. Rosie, can he put it through? He delivers with a drop pass. His teammates rush over. It's under two goals now. We're back in motion. Punches are clear. Is in his possession. Dug it out. Quick handball. He slams it towards goal. Right, just not good enough with that kick. Goal Coast by seven points. Searching for a teammate. Plays on from the kick in. Slams it on the boot. Burgoyne got hands to it. Keeps it moving. Intercepted. Keeps the kick low. Wines, Max. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Gold Coast forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Swag manufactures a handball. Releases by hand. Intercepts the ball well. Chips it towards half board. A big contested grab. Heads inside 50. Doing well with the mark. Lining up for goal. Brilliant stuff. And he puts it through. He acknowledges the crowd. There's nothing in this. Centre bounce. Witz just swats it away. Right. There to mop up. At full stride. Receives the handball. Hartlick had it, lost it. Chose to kick it. They can create from this. He decides to go for home. Almost delivers, but not quite. The margin is two. Hartlick looking to bring it back into play. Swallow determined to reach the ball. The loose ball picked up. Burton collects the loose ball. Williams takes a strong mark. Chips it towards half forward. Joyce runs after the ball. Through for a point. Port Adelaide reduced the margin. Harbrow looking for options now. Easily takes the mark. 45 metres out. Burgoyne with a fairly straightforward shot. Going for goal number one. He slots this one. A big goal there. Congratulated by his teammates. They're in the lead now. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Port Adelaide are controlling the position and they're using that control to hit the scoreboard. Fighting hard was Miles. He heads for home. Started the kick line and it never came back. The Suns now only trail by four. He wins the ball in the air. Uses it across half back. Gets into some space to mark this. 
Works it across the ground. Good mark there. Lobs the handball. He gets his hands on the footy. Even uses it by foot. Lysak gets in a good position. Plays on. He drives it towards goal. A chance to reload the attack now. Giving it off with those. Has a runner alongside him. The loose ball scooped up. Going for goal number one. That one hits the front row. The lead is now five. Harbrow with the kick in duties. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Drives it long. Bows down some space and marked. Hits the target by hand. Pushes off the tackler. Weller wins the ball in the air. Decides to kick. Looks like the ball will be coming back. The kick from Rockcliffe. Gets a quick kick away. Picked up now. Hacking it out of there. Spent it before he earned it. Williams collects it. Bows doesn't get low enough and gives away the free. A long driving kick. Well up, marks it. Goes with the kick. Got hands to it. Just got the hands in the back there. With a driving kick. Gathers it now. Rushes with the kick. Finds a target. Uses a short hand. Here's Greenwood. Miles moves it by hand. And now they're away. Intercepted by Burn Jones. Ebert gets a quick kick away. Burgoyne takes it strong. Halftime sees Gold Coast looking to improve the deficit of five. Port Adelaide have had a good first half. I think they'd really love to stamp their authority on this contest in the second. What can you tell us from the stats, Gaz? Gold Coast can't getting their hands to the ball in the contest. The modern game is all about winning the hard ball, and they're not doing that today. Thanks for that, Gaz. One half of footy down, one to come. The third quarter has begun. Centre bounce. Thrashes it. He gains possession. Great tackling there, Hutto. It's a turnover. Burton won himself a free. Moves it by foot. Does well to cut off the kick. He drives it. Winning the ball in the air was well up. Punches the kick. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, Hutto. Dixon with the opportunity. No issues with that drop pass. His teammates rush over. Port Adelaide. Flea is now at 11. Back with another centre bounce. Thump clear. The ball spills. He wins possession with the ball now. Boak will be upset with that. He's got the footy in his hands. Finding the ball with ease. Slick with the hands. Takes a simple grab. Hartlett sends one up towards the wing. Harbrow soccers the kick. Cleary picks up the loose ball. Looks up with the kick. Couldn't quite with the mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. That's right, Hutto. He just can't seem to get into the game. Right. Won himself a free. Moves the ball by foot. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Takes that one strongly. Williams with a short hand pass. It's somehow pitched over the line. And it's a goal. Another goal for Burgoyne. He's got two. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. That's a really good team goal. Port Adelaide are forcing the opposition to give it to the open player. They aren't allowing them any room to move forward. Ball stripped in the tackle. He gains possession. Taken by Colin Smith. This is Dexton. He goes for broke. That one ran into the post. Gold Coast behind by 16. Plays on. Needs a bit of a rest. Moves the ball out of defence. Doing well to intercept that kick. Harbrow lines up from long range. 
missed the target. He's in charge of the ranking points. The opposition need to get a hold of him. A clean kicker. We'll get a ball off. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Dug out by Tutcliffe. A great mark taken there. Port Adelaide have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Hawks moves it now. Burn Jones did well to win that ball. Looks to move it by foot. Watts does well to mark. Uses it now. And the mark will be paid. Kicks the ball deep. The mark has been taken. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. The kick connects with the post. The power doing well at the moment. Harbrow unsure of the next move. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Miles presents and takes the mark. Port Adelaide haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Fleury uses the bump. Wines takes it well. Wow! How good was that? He puts through his first goal. This kick stretches the lead. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Witt's thumped it clear. Sends it clear of the contest. Umpire calls advantage. <laughs> Off the deck. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. <laughs> Celebrating hard. The lead is now 29. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Gold Coast need to be more efficient with their ball use. They've allowed the opposition too much influence from intercept marks. Put his body on the line. Uses the bump. Dixon heads onto the ground. And we'll get a ball up. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gas? This game needs a spark at the moment. He looks like he needs a spell. Just gave it away. Burton scoops it up, collects the loose ball. A solid mark from Day. Puts it on the boot. Greenwood with the intercept. That was sweet. They put through another. Congratulated by his teammates. Gold Coast, close the gap to 23. It's great to watch Hutto, plenty of excitement. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. The Suns need to be more efficient with their ball use. They've allowed the opposition too much influence from intercept marks. Burgoyne does well to mark. The distance might be just beyond him. He goes it alone. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Elects to kick. Hurry kick. Well collected. Kicks hurriedly. He's really making an impact in this game, guys. He seems to always be in the context, I don't Pretty happy with that one. Port Adelaide, 52. Play Gold Coast, 23. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. He did really well there and gets the reward. Port Adelaide could turn the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Chips it towards half forward. Ends up marking uncontested. Day puts it on the boot. Jonas runs after this one. Hartley gains possession. Going for goal number one. Into the post it goes. They really needed a goal there. 
Gold Coast. Reduce the margin. Looking to bring it back into play. Dixon looking to track down the footy. Slams it onto the boot. Marks all alone. Uses it by foot. We have one quarter left to play. What caught your eye, Gary? Port Adelaide believe they can win this game. It's time to show it. Let's analyze the stats. Port Adelaide have taken charge of the contested ball. We have one quarter of footy ahead of us. Let's go. They need to get a move on if they're going to win from here. Swats it with the ball is Greenwood. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Hartler takes a strong mark. Moves it by foot. Takes the mark. Elects to kick. Burn Jones takes it well. Decides to go to the middle. Takes it well. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Port Adelaide forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Mops up the loose ball. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Well picked up. Hall and Smith coming on. My ball, says the umpire. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. Murdoch dug out the loose ball. He dropped punt sails between the big sticks. He's enjoying that goal. The game is back underway. Swats it. He gets his hands on the footy. And the mark will be paid. A spearing kick from Brody. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Kick by Wits. Good mark and looks to send it back. Alex to kick it long. He takes the mark. Got the hands free. Receives the handball and takes off. Finds a target. Holman will have to put everything into this one. Goes for the goals. He bangs it through. He celebrates hard after that. Gold Coast could kick back-to-back -back goals. They are red hot now. Punches it clear. Has it now. He's on fire at the moment, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. He's an absolute ball magnet. The handball now from Dixon. Just gets it onto the boot. Finds the loose ball. Fought hard to get a handball away. He has the ball. Ainsworth coming onto the ground. Clears the contest. Goes off the ground. Picks it up. Ball up in the centre square. Smooth hurls it away. Swallow might have overworked himself there. It's a behind. Once again, they can't convert it to the scoreboard. The Suns now only trail by 15. Burn Jones used the body to take that mark. Slams it on the boot. He goes it alone. Lucky to score with that shot. The Suns keeping themselves in it. Hartlick assessing the options. Decides to play on there. Hacks it forward. Looks like the ball will be coming back. This will certainly test him from this distance. Going for broke now. Spills the mark. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Burton clears the danger for now. Drives it out of defensive 50. Murdoch marks. Wants to move it quickly. Finds this and marks well. 50 metres out. Bit of an angle for this kick. Looking to kick goal number two. No problems with that kick from Holman. Gets some rewards for his efforts. 
Gold Coast have three in a row. Gold Coast close the gap to Tate. Smith clears the contest. He's got the football now. Taking a nice grab. Sinks the slipper into it. Nice hands. Wines will kick from beyond the 50. They can take the sting right out of the game here. He takes the shot. That one will really lift them. He's enjoying every second of it out there. He just loved that one. The margin is 14. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Gold Coast just can't seem to retain possession of the footy. They're getting outmarked all over the ground and as a result find themselves losing this contest. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. Quickly under the boot. Homs couldn't keep his hands on it. Alice moves it by hand. Greenwood keeps coming. Looks up with the kick. Gets into a good position to take that. Day looks to build some momentum with this kick. Going for goal number one. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. He's excited about that one. Gold Coast behind by eight. Umpire ready to resume play. Wits with a big fist on it. Just put it on the boot. Cleary couldn't hang on to the ball. Just a line for a minor score. Just under two goals, the difference now. Hartley considering the options on the kicking. Does well to cut off the kick. Lennon hurts on by the crowd, prepares to kick. Going for goal number two. No one and it's a behind. Just two goals in it. Unsure of their next move, Hartley decides to go to himself. Got boot to ball. It's a foot race to get this one. And now we'll have a ball up. Big thumb from Wicks. Clock running out in the final term. Umpire calls for the ball. Thump clear. Paul and Smith sticks the tackle. Fantastic pressure there. Just gets a boot to it. Off the ground, and it's a goal for Wicks. Look at them celebrate that effort. Gold Coast have kicked the last two goals. We are all tied up now. It's a draw with the final scores all tied up at 58. They both had their chance to win this game, Hutto. And in the end, we're all square. Once again, we wrap up the game today. It ended in a draw with both sides finishing on 58. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon. It's been my pleasure, Hutto, and we look forward to having everyone back soon.